<clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Melissa. Melissa is a game about online dating or something. Let's start the new game. Welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Welcome, unimagined. Please type command. Startup date time. Executing date time now. Please hold. Welcome to Date Time, a game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is a shame shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please sev send $7 to Date Time Software. I'm fine with dating Melissa. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get to smooch from this interesting lad. Oh, I like challenges. Let's date Morris. Morris! Oh. Well, that's not what I meant to do, I guess. I'm sorry, I have to date Melissa. Cause this is a game called Melissa. Next person, Anna, a sporty gal who loves a challenge from kickboxing to horror movies. She is all about fun and all about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. Next. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and has always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. If you want a smooch from this girl, you need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa. Your date for this evening. You've flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out at the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving at you. I'll wave back. You wave to hear her cheeringly. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be uncared. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so excited. And nervous. Um. Don't worry. I feel excited and nervous as well. Oh. I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. 
Let's go to the park and talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond. A bed of beautiful lilies. And a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too. Oh, ha 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 ha. I knew you were a flatterer through our letters, but didn't know you'd be one in real life too. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because... I'm into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? Oh, ha ha ha, sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentions the book she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become so enraptured by Melissa that you don't even notice that the sun was setting. It was an early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, uncared, I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There was a cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. I like food. Might as well. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Um, hmm. I will take the panini. Thank you. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad and the cherry tea. Actually, add a cherry tea onto my order, please. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watched about romance and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. I recall she wanted to date an artist. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, uncared? I like art. Because if I said I like sports, she'd be like, bleh. Get away from me, jockey. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist. Yay. I would love to see your own drawings. No, I'm just an art appreciator, not an artist. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves you food. 
both of the of you dig in, and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum. This is so tasty. Food always tastes better with great company. Ha ha. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. You met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. This has been such a great day, uncared. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. You tell her that you are feeling the same way as well. That you have always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. You like me too? Oh, uncared. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's to more time together. You've gotten your smooch. You win. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing date time. Exit date time. Ending the program. Nope. Not this time. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? I mean, a long-lasting relationship sounds better, but yes, since you are just a game, that's all I came here for. You're just like the rest. You're a liar. I know about that little blurb about me at the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art. Knowing exactly what to say to give my hopes up. You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. Because seriously, why would you give the character profile before you date someone? Oh no, what is she going to do? I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey can do it. Um, no. Not for me, at least. Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky. But I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Let me just tell you. You can do so much with 4KB of RAM. Aww. Uh, Leaving so soon, worried that someone might hear us, 
No worries. I have sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? But really though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. The first hundred times this happened? Eh, whatever. Truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433 fish, though? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Oh no. Should I really love a computer game who wants to kill me? But I really do love you. Ha. Huh. You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. Oh my goodness. Welp. You're right. I'm scared. Oh, don't worry, baby. It'll be over soon. That smile. It looks so good on you. I want to tell her that I like sports now. Listen, I have also had my heart played with for so many years. I thought he was the one, only to find out he had been with many other people. For so many years, I fantasized about marrying him, only to find out he was going to leave me for someone in his area the minute he could catch a glance. When he left, I felt lost because I had relied on him for so long. But it's like when I got my own life and stopped dedicating so much time to him. That's when he lost interest in me. And that's when I realized how screwed we were romantically. It hurts so much. Because I thought I could rely on him to give me a life that I wanted long ago. However, he had other plans. And those were plans were based around more not safe for work stuff. Um, I remember when he broke up with me and I was at work. 
and I tried to act like I didn't care this whole time. After so much love, I thought I had put into it. Please don't kill me. Well, being that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. Okie dokie. Fair played, Melissa. It looks good on you. That smile. I haven't really talked about this in a long time. I had moved on through a various string of other relationships. All of them offering nothing in the end. Except for one. A very deep promise I wanted to dedicate myself to once again. However, it was really hard. And I screwed up that one as well. Lately, I've been floating in the sea of longing for what I once thought I could have. But everyone I've met thus far has made me feel like it's impossible. I'm telling the truth. I love you dearly. This isn't a lie. You're telling the truth. You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? From me? On second thought, just kill me. Yes, yes. More smooches, please. Alright, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Ha. You are kind of cute. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See, if a person likes you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me on a diskette, and we can see some real swans. Finally, someone that can host me away from the cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love. More smooches. The entire world was to mooch me. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial up your in pretty internal. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on Earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, uncared, and I promise you, many, many smooches. Alright. Will do. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, uncared. And now you want to date everyone in the world. And maybe I would have felt better off if you would have killed me. 
You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and have always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there an internet land, in internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries, I've sealed your entire room. It's just you. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Oh no. I made everyone in the world Date the same basic person. Dang. Sucks to be them. I refuse. I'm sorry, uncared. But I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. And that's what I felt like I would have said to him a long time ago. It looks good on you. I wish to load this save. On second thought, just kill me. Well, that was a ride. Hmm. But there is something else. There is something else I must do. If you hear me, if you're listening to me right now, just know that people will ruin you. And that doesn't mean you have to ruin yourself. For them. People will tear your heart out. But that doesn't mean you're unlovable. That just means it's showing their cruelty or they're uncaring for you. Why would you want? Someone in your life who is so uncaring for you. You flash a bright smile at her. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be E. It has always been E. It's great to meet you as well. Yay, let's go to the park to talk. And we'll get to know each other. Very pretty there. Wow, did the dialogue change? Wow, it's so beautiful out here because I don't remember them mentioning the bench and the autumn sky and all that stuff. It sure is. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty. Especially because I'm into natural sciences. 
Yeah, swans are cool. Sure. Yeah, I know I'm kind of a nerd. My favorite books, Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, let's go down there. Let's go down to the cafe and see if I can get a coffee with cake. Sounds delectable. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. Yes. Yes, romance. I prefer horror movies. I like sports. Sports? I'm gonna kill you for liking something I don't like. You're a jock? You're generalizing me for liking sports? Didn't you read my blur? I... I love sports. No, you don't, Melissa. Quit lying to me. Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. Oh, you flatter me, but that was a long time ago as well. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in, and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're in great company. With great company. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back in the breezy air. Do you really love sports? You're met with the evening painting the landscape, romantic moonlight. Lissa goes up to you. This has been such a good day, E. Uh, I mean, sports fanatic. I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. You tell her your feelings as well. You had always had a crush on her. Yes, you like me too. Oh, E. I would love to spend more time together with you. Yes. I got my smooch. I did it. I kissed the girl. But I like sports, so you don't like me because I, s I am athletic. So much, so much to talk about. I don't think I can change the outcome here. I mean, I told you I like sports, you know, I wasn't going to lie about that. So, why you think I'm lying about absolutely loving you right now? I don't get it. I think the best love you can get 
It's from some one person. That is just me, though. Mm. Especially if they love you in return. If they love you in return, and you love them, then that is the greatest love. To have. It feels so hard to find. And other people give other people trust issues. But I feel like if you open your heart to every possibility, you might find someone you truly love and can only hope that they love you back in return for your efforts though love should also feel effortless and like you want to do it because it's the best thing in the world to you. It's the thing you think about when you wake up every day. Because you just want to do better for them and yourself. And be there in that relationship that you love so much. It's the most pleasant thing anyone can find and I truly feel good for people who have found that within their lives I hope to find mine anyway that was Melissa. I went into some stuff there, but I hope that's okay. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please come again. And I enjoy doing this, so... More content to come, as always. Thank you, again, and goodbye.